what happens when you get your community to pay $60 to develop a map. Around eight months ago, DICE LA asked Battlefielders, what kind of map would you like to co-develop in Battlefield 4? Many in the community said, build us an urban map. DICE LA said no, let's get a little bit more specific. Can't be an urban map, can't have Levolution, and then directed people to their high-level framework requirements page on Reddit. Oh, and also, if you want to work on this map, pay us up to $60 on top of the base game via premium membership. In all fairness, premium membership is primarily for the five DLC packs for Battlefield 4, assuming you didn't pre-order, in which case you already had China Rising and probably double paid for it. I'm happy to say then that the result of the community paying to develop and beta test the community operations map with DICE LA turned out pretty great. The Operation Outbreak map launched this week free to the public outside of CTE and delivers very jungle terrain reminiscent of Bad Company 2, underground tunnels, a central waterfall feature to gawk at, and great balance between infantry and vehicle combat. On top of that, at this stage Battlefield 4 has a staggering number of weapons and toys to play with. One toy, the Phantom Bow, is now easy for everybody to get and can be picked up from this crate in the center of the map. It's been very interesting watching DICE continue to support Battlefield 4, which launched in October 2013, and has seen continuous development with DLC, the Night Maps Project, and bug fixes galore. It's my impression, both personally and speaking with devs, that EA is hedging its bets with Battlefield 4 because it hasn't continued to throw its weight behind the newer visceral developed Battlefield Hardline. In 2015's E3 press conference, EA didn't even bother to cover Hardline's new Criminal Activity DLC during their stage show. Hardline still has a large following on console through small to medium-sized infantry-based maps, but the PC community didn't get the larger maps and vehicle-based combat they've come to expect in a Battlefield title and largely abandoned it. So it seems DICE LA will continue to throw resources into Battlefield 4 until the next Battlefield title confirmed for 2016 sees the light of day. It is a bit of a missed opportunity because this map would have been a perfect Colombian style drug map for Hardline. So if you're still a huge Battlefield fan waiting for the next major Battlefield title, head on over and download the free community operations map. You'll have a lot of fun and will probably thank those who spend up to $60 to help DICE LA create it.